Hey everybody, it's Richard RM Autodiag, and today we're going to try and read a Valio BSI out of a Citroen. Right, okay, so as you can see, I've already got the connections made on this one. I'll put a screenshot of where I did connect beforehand. Some of them are under the sticker I just moved out of the way. Um, but you've got to have uh, multiples in one place on some of them, uh, which is this one. I just spliced all the wires into one. And then you just go off the other ports. And that is the part number of the one that I've got now. I do believe a lot of the value ones are very similar. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is value on the back. Now, the actual EEPROM on this is underneath the board and you got all these solder connections and all this other stuff in the way so i don't really want to split that because i could cause other damage so what i want to do is i want to get a read out of this so each one of these corresponding pins would go to the pins on the eprom and as you can see all these separate ones here you know one to eight on the diagram i have put in order of where they should be as i say um from the picture i put up before it's got all the pin numbers all right device so there should be an st and this should be an 95128 So, come up to new, and then read. Doing something. There we go. So, we've got our information here. So, if you want to keep that information, obviously you would save it or you need to get it changed or or whatever you've got to do with it. That's up to you. For this one, we're going to see if we can find a virgin file so we can use this in a different vehicle. So I'm going to go look for a file and we'll come back and hopefully right back onto it. Right, so what we've done is we've made a virgin file somewhere where is it c2 value virgin so we're going to open that and we're going to write it to the device and yes we'll let that do its thing <coughs> um i did do a video of another bsi that was a johnson's control um i showed a couple of programs that i used <clears throat> just checking that one out um, very similar process I say you got to get a virgin file sometimes you can just fill this with F's and it'll work uh, other times it won't um, but apparently this is a known good virgin file so rather than risk it I can't bother to take it apart twice hopefully this should just do the job so this should get wrote to the device Do all its checks. And that's wrote on there. Uh, if we just look at a few first line stuff, we've got that F5A. You see we've already got changes here. Uh, well, take a look for yourself there, just a few bits and pieces on there it's not particularly interesting it just changes it so there's nothing in there of relevancy you can reprogram so hopefully that will be good enough that is secured and changed across i can desolder all this and get that taken off and hopefully we can get this in another car and reprogrammed and happy days and we've reused an old unit so these units can be quite expensive and I would imagine starting to come a bit a bit hard to come by, especially on some of the older stuff. 
So that's just a quick one on a BSI Valio unit uh, being virginized um, using Xprog. Uh, thanks for watching. Coming on for the next one.